Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am going to share with you all of my homeschooling workbooks that I have loved and enjoyed over uh, the years. So you guys, uh, we are in curriculum season. It is here. <laughs> it is upon us. And I've already shared my fifth and my pre-K curriculum uh, videos already for you on my channel. So if you want to watch those, I will link those down below. However, I still feel like it's important to highlight some of those workbooks that I do pull out and I use as far as supplements and just like workbooks that I just love having on hand. So um, I have a big stack you guys <laughs> right here of all of my favorite workbooks that I want to share with you guys. I'm actually going to share the workbooks with you guys from my younger grades all the way up. I was really inspired to make this video after watching Rachel from 7 and All share uh, a homeschooling workbook video and because we are on curriculum season, I just definitely wanted to share these uh, resources with you guys because um, I don't solely rely on my curriculum to give me everything that I need. Sometimes, uh, especially if you have an area that's a little bit weaker for your student or an area that you know that um, you're not gonna do as much, picking up uh, workbooks like these are great opportunities to still uh, be advancing and learning in those particular subjects. So let's go ahead and start off with like my favorite preschool, pre-K workbooks that I have had experience with that I know I'm going to use again with my younger daughter. So Leia's my middle daughter, she is four, and right now these are her favorite workbooks, which are these huge Melissa and Doug activity pads. So I have the alphabet activity pad, I have the numbers activity pad. We're actually like halfway through the finish in this one. And we have completely finished this one, which is the colors and shape activity pad. So I got this whole set you guys on sale for I think $13. I'm not too sure what the price is right now on Amazon, but these huge activity pads, uh, they're filled with like stickers and uh, it's opportunities for your kiddos to color if they like the color. They have tracing and you know, they're so much fun and she loves these. I don't even have to tell her, oh yeah, come on late, let's do preschool. She will pull these off of her preschool cart and say, mommy, come on, I'm ready to do school. So these have definitely been like a win as far as like preschool workbook supplemental type of practice sheets uh, for my kiddos so um, she's really enjoyed these some other ones that Leia has enjoyed has been the JDA series, you guys. Um, we are actually still working on this JDA series. I have the preschool writing, I have the preschool literacy, and I also have the preschool math. And you guys, these workbooks are just simple black and white workbooks that uh, she can just go on as she's learning all of these different skills. Um, I actually have both the PDF and the physical copies of these uh, work sheets just because I wanted her to have an opportunity to do them more than once and again I do have a younger kiddo coming up that I can use these JDA workbooks for uh, like I said before they are black and white simple workbooks but because both of my girls love the color seeing things in black and white is an opportunity for them to you know color a little bit more use their markers and crayons and everything like that so I really have been enjoying the JDA series especially this preschool literacy series because it really has helped her out a lot with like recognizing those uppercase and lowercase letters uh, recognizing uh, the start and the ending sounds so these have been really fun so this is actually going to be our second time going through the preschool literacy uh, book but um, you guys it definitely has been a great supplement easy fast I love these workbooks for uh, the preschool age now let's go ahead and get on into uh, workbooks that I have been using for Brielle. Um, I have been using workbooks with Brielle, you guys, ever since she has been in public school. Um, she has been in public school from K through second half of second, and every summer I will always grab a workbook for us to work on throughout the summer. One of my favorite workbooks to use, I actually don't have it right now, uh, has been Brain Quest. I have used Brain Quest K through three with her and they have been so much fun. I love the color in Brain Quest workbooks. Um, I love that they're always so affordable. I mean you guys I was picking those workbooks up, up from like Target or Costco's for like five bucks and even throughout the school year I was pulling out pages within the workbooks using with Brielle especially for like the math and things like that. Um, I never wanted her to be behind when she was in school within math or reading. Those are like the two areas that I would primary focus on when we were working on those workbooks 
workbooks this summer, but I love BrainQuest workbooks. Um, my second favorite workbooks for Brielle has been Scholastics. And I have a lot of these Scholastic workbooks. You guys, I actually taught Brielle multiplication and division by using this cheapy uh, $3 um, Scholastics workbooks. So the ones that I have that are my favorite are the reading test. And I use these right here for um, reading comprehension for her. So we have completed four, we're almost completed with five, and we're gonna be using uh, the workbook for the reading test in um, next school year for her. So I love these, you guys, they're so simple. Um, she's just doing like uh, simple uh, reading comprehension skills using these. Uh, these are just quick and easy. I typically give her one test on Friday with these. So um, they're really, really simple. Uh, she gets the chance to go over uh, vocabulary and she gets the chance to go over different styles of um, writing where she has to do the comprehension. So sometimes they give her like a letter and she has to answer comprehension questions. Sometimes it could be map skills or history. So I really love these simple reading tests. Um, again, I usually do these on Fridays and uh, they have been very effective in getting her prepared for standardized testing. I live in the state of Georgia. I have to test my daughter. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I really wish I lived in a state where I didn't have to test, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, but uh, we do standardized testing and this is just an easy way for me to prep her and prepare her for it. So um, these, oh, oh my gosh, you guys, I love them. And they're typically like $3.99, $5.99. Another one of the Scholastic workbooks that I really loved, and I've used these for her third and for the summertime we used these. We started using the writing one during our school year, but we put it down. But my favorite one has been this grammar workbook. You guys, I love how it takes one part of speech and you go over it throughout the week. So for one week, you might just go over the types of sentences. And then at the end of that week, you're done. Then you go over the next part of speech. So these, you guys, are great for like additional practice. So if she is having a problem with a grammar concept um, over the summer, we can like use these simple workbooks. The writing workbook is just as good. I really, really enjoy it. Um, it really breaks down writing for the kids in a simple way. And this is just fun, simple practice, especially over the summer or if it's an area where she does need extra practice when it comes to writing. So these scholastic workbooks, you guys have been my favorite, all time favorite, cheap, affordable. They get the job done. Now, as I started my homeschooling journey, you guys, I, you know, I fell into the trap of Explode the Code. And I definitely have to say, I have enjoyed Explode the Code because my daughter, she started off our homeschooling year in the third grade. Um, she really didn't need the beginner Explode the Codes, but as we were studying prefixes and suffixes last year, I utilized this Explode the Code book eight for that skill and it was amazing. My daughter, she loved it. We still have a couple of pages in here she hasn't finished. So if I wanna pick this baby back up for the summertime for like extra practice, I definitely can, but I have really been enjoying the Explode the Cold series. Uh, again, it's just quick, simple, independent, fast, effective uh, work. Now, as I'm going into, uh, I guess starting from the beginning with my younger two, I have actually just started the Explode the Cold series from the beginning with the um, get ready for the coat series for my youngest one. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this get ready or for the code has been so stinking cute. I really enjoyed this series and um, hopefully I can go through the A, B, and C book with my daughter this upcoming school year for her pre-K year. Uh, we already has have dabbled into this one and it has been so much fun. I actually was able to get this Explode the Code, the A, B, and C print it off from my membership from Scribe. So if you have a Scribe membership, just go under documents and type in get ready for the code and it's there for you to print. So um, I didn't even have to purchase these. I just had to print them from home. So I have been enjoying starting from the beginning. Now I see you guys why so many people do love Explode the Code and it's definitely like uh, one of my top favorites as far as like homeschooling workbook supplements. Now, some other workbooks that I love and I have loved have been the Evan Moore workbooks. You guys, um, I loved Evan Moore spelling when we started off with this one. It really has been amazing. Um, Evan Moore has 
awesome workbook. So we have uh, utilized their spelling workbook. And one of the newer workbooks that's gonna be new for us is going to be this science workbook. I actually picked up this Evan Moore science workbook because in our upcoming school year, we are going to have like a heavier history year. So I really just wanted to have like a simple workbook for my daughter to continue to uh, do science, but do it more independently. So that is why I picked up this cheapy $5 Evan Moore workbook. In this particular one, she is going to be going over organisms and ecosystems, earth systems, space systems, structures and properties of matter. So it's really an opportunity for her to get some science in. Um, because again, like I said, we're having a heavier history year. And I feel like that's like the best way to utilize these workbooks is if you know that one of your subjects is gonna take the back burner, buy a simple workbook and your kids will still be able to get that knowledge and gain that knowledge throughout that year in a more simpler, independent way. So um, this is gonna be my first time using the Skill Sharpeners workbook. However, I have used the spelling workbooks and I have loved them from Evan Moore. Now, um, some more workbooks that I have been loving has been from Shell Education, you guys. It has been 180 days of spelling and word study. Now I have a video on my channel where I have compared Evan Moore spelling to 180 days of spelling, and I love them both. This spelling curriculum is just um, has word study with it. It's not just the spelling words, and I have loved it. So Brielle is actually working through five, and we're gonna be using this book right here for her next school year, and I love it. It's just a really simple way for her to you know get that spelling get that vocabulary in all in one and it really has been great so these are some more of my favorite workbooks I haven't tried any of the 180 day series I know they have like reading social studies math um, science they have a lot in this 180 day series I am only familiar with the word study but if I do find that I need to supplement um, with another subject in the future I might pick up one of the 180 day books as well so 180 days have have definitely been a great uh, workbook in our homeschool. Now, the last workbook that I'm gonna share with you is a new one. I actually haven't uh, tried it yet. We're gonna be using it for this upcoming school year, which is Wordly Wise. You guys, I have heard about Wordly Wise so much <laughs> on YouTube, on the internet, everywhere. Everyone talks about Wordly Wise, how it is such a good and great solid vocabulary curriculum. So this is gonna be my first time utilizing this in our homeschool. Vocabulary is actually one of the areas that I need to beef up with my daughter when it comes to our homeschooling uh, journey. I feel like especially when they get into middle school, like um, not middle school, but um, upper elementary is like when you really start to beef up that vocabulary. So I really think that Wordly Wise is gonna be great for us. Um, but so far you guys, it's just a simple uh, workbook when it comes to vocabulary. Hopefully she loves it. Um, but this is just another one of those supplements that I am adding into my homeschool. So you guys, I really hope you enjoyed like this short, simple video as I'm showing you guys some of my favorite homeschooling uh, workbooks and supplements that I have used over the years. Hopefully, hopefully this video will like inspire you to uh, grab some workbooks, especially where you need to fill in those gaps with your main curriculum. So this is everything. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy as always. I will see everybody in my next one. Bye.